Ah, this is Tony Mamoni, and you're watching Burl TV. Burl Audio. I'm Tony Mamoni from Studio G Brooklyn. Joel Hamilton and I were sharing a B2. And uh, when we opened up our new facility, I was going to the SSL room and you know, we planned it so that I wasn't going to be without a V2. Because I told Joel, once, once you start printing your mixes through the V2, coming back off tape, you're not going to want to use anything else. Joel agreed with me. <laughs> so we got another V2. Uh, the funny thing is, I was recording Mike Watt uh, I did his last record and Mike was on tour. Uh, we tracked the rhythm section separately. When Mike came in off the tour, I tracked him through the B2. And, uh, you know, Mike Watt, I, can, I consider him to be one of the godfathers of bass. And when he heard that white jazz bass through the B2, I kind of saw it in his eye. And I was just talking to Travis over at uh, AEA, and he said, oh yeah, I'm like, why? I think he's got a B2 now. So uh, the proof's in the pudding, as they say. <laughs> well, the thing I love about the B2 is I love the attenuation possibility because uh, we find that the character is a little different where you're choosing to bring signal in. Uh, what's really nice is when you're just using the B2 to track, uh, you can have it wide open. And then let's say you're doing a mix where you're pushing the, the limits a little hard. It's so convenient to be able to step it down a little bit. So um, I love that about the B2. Uh, I also love the forgiving nature of it because sometimes I've got it really cooking and I'm popping into the yellow a little bit and it's never, ever, ever been an issue. So I'm a pretty big fan of the B2. Now in our A facility we've got, uh, we've got the mothership and uh, the only problem with it is we're, we need more channels. <laughs> and that's the only problem. <laughs> I don't know what else I can tell you except goodbye. <laughs> there goes your light, dude. This will be the romantic segment.